Happy Saturday friends. It's a new day so we're starting a new vlog. If you're new here, my name is Selena. I actually have to do a lot of like cleaning and resetting of the house so I thought it'd be the perfect time to start filming since I like sharing these little productive days with you all. We're gonna start out by having a little fun though. My best friend Nadia, I'm gonna take her to brunch. Well, technically she has a car so she's taking me to brunch but it's for her birthday so I'm really excited to spend some quality time with her. Also, Bay is here. Say hi, Bay. Where are you heading, huh? To work. To yeah. make us some money. <laughs> Bye, baby. First of all, I need to finish getting ready. Well, I mainly already did my makeup off camera because I was testing out some new products, but I think I love them. So I'm definitely gonna try to show you guys like my makeup routine soon. Maybe I'll film like a little morning routine because I also started adding some other like skincare products to my skincare routine. So that'll be fun and definitely for another video. But right now I need to do my hair. I think she's gonna come pick me up in like 30 minutes. It'll probably take me like 15 minutes to do my hair with my Dyson. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you guys how it looks. So I'm officially ready to get picked up by Nadia. She should be on her way. She might be here in like 10 minutes. So don't judge me, but my room's a mess. And like I said, we have to clean today and kind of reset my house. So let's do it. There's clothes everywhere, by the way, just FYI. Nobody knows me quite like you do. So I have a bunch of clean clothes that I need to put away, so let's do that. It's the birthday girl! Happy birthday, Nadia! Thank you! So we put our name on the list. Yes. We're just waiting for them to text us that our table is ready. But Nadia has to get film, so we're gonna do that first. Mm -hmm. Oh, we look so cute. Portland <laughs> gals. Just going to like little film camera shops. Yeah, so <laughs> that was cool. like a very Portland thing to do. It really was. I feel like you're converting me more to yeah. the city life here. <laughs> So we were gonna head back to the restaurant, but we're actually getting coffee because we're coffee girlies. Mm -hmm. We need to stay as Portland as we can. Literally. <laughs> yeah. It is so cute, actually. It is I'm... so cute. Because we're by 23rd, right? Yeah. Yeah, 23rd is such a nice street in Portland. That'll be to go, and can I actually um, have the espresso decaf? Can I get the iced pistachio latte? Do you accept apple pay? No, okay. okay. No, I got this. It's your birthday. It's also his birthday. Oh, happy birthday! Hey. Me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're in the clearance section, of course. I mean, you gotta see what deals you can get from West Elm, you know? These are a little too basic. <gasps> $7. I love this dresser. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. How oh, I'm walking right now. This is funny. This is so nice. But the price, that's insane. It's actually insane. Wait, how much is that? $149. I'm very glad I didn't get this lamp though. Hey friends, so it's currently almost 2 p.m. I wanna get as much cleaning as I can done and to be productive, but I also want to edit a video and like get other things done. And I also wanna meet up our friends for dinner tonight. So in order to accomplish as many of the things that I wanna get done today, like within a reasonable amount of time, I'm gonna set a timer. 
to try to clean up for like an hour and a half and get as much cleaning done as I can so that I can reset my house and just feel good about it because I want to film another video maybe tomorrow or later this week where I'm showing you guys like some house updates because there are some new fun things that I bought and I want to like put together for the house but I don't know about y'all I can't like bring in new furniture or like set out my new rug or anything until I feel good with like how my house is and it has to be clean and all the things so that's what we're gonna do today step one is just resetting the house and I'm also gonna be filming a little reset with me on TikTok so make sure to go check that out but without further ado I'm gonna finish my coffee and get started on this little cleaning reset on a Saturday because you don't need to wait until Sunday to do a cleaning reset honestly I should probably do a nightly reset routine but here we are baby steps Alexa, set a timer for 90 minutes. Porque frente a frente hasta me saludó. So the other day this shelf fell on the floor and I think it's because when I initially put these up the directions say that you're supposed to leave this little sticky thing on there for 24 hours without touching it and I didn't wait long enough. I've left it up now for 48 hours so I'm gonna stick this back on and hopefully it doesn't fall again. I think everything is honestly clean. My living room's clean, kitchen, bathroom, bedroom. I put some laundry to wash. Wait, yeah, my back started hurting, so I'm pretty much done. But I do have a fun little item to unbox, so let's do that. So you probably saw, but I upgraded to a Breville Barista Express, which I feel like every YouTuber, social media person gets this one after a Nespresso. And I had my Nespresso since what, 2019, 2020? So I had it for almost four years and honestly, the best thing, it still works perfectly. So I am gonna sell it or try to sell it on Facebook Marketplace just because I don't like wanna just throw it out because it still works. I would still use it if I didn't get this one. I've told you all before that I have like this dream of starting a cafe one day, but like how am I ever gonna even know if I really wanna do that unless I learn how to make a freaking espresso shot. Also, there's just nothing like 
coffee shop coffee and I'll finally be able to make similar coffees like actually make them so anyway I know it's gonna have a whole like learning curve and I'm really excited for it step one is to unbox this and then I still need to order a couple things like a little scale to measure the coffee beans and an airtight container to keep my coffee beans in and I also still need to get coffee beans so you know step one today cleaning kit, a razor for the filter baskets. This is so cool. First of all, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. First it says to soak the filter in water for five minutes. Alexa, set timer for five minutes. Second timer. Five minutes. <gasps> I'm so excited. So this has sat for longer than five minutes already. Rinse it out. I need to set the date to replace this two months from now. So I'll need to put this in my notes. I just finished cleaning everything. I also responded to a couple of questions on Instagram because sometimes I do like Instagram Q and A's. So I was responding to some of those and it's already freaking dark. I think I'm just gonna edit for the rest of the night. Good morning, friends. Happy Sunday. Let's get the day started. put on this red wine bodysuit and then these black Halera wide leg pants. I put my hair up in a ponytail because I think it's gonna rain today so there's just like no reason to do my hair just to have it get rained on. And right now I'm using this lip glow oil from Dior and it's so pretty. It gives like the perfect little color to my lips but it still looks like very natural, you know? We're about to head to church. I think we might have time to stop and get coffee on the way and then I think the coffee shop hopefully sells coffee beans because I really want to get some fresh coffee beans so I can start practicing making coffee on my new coffee machine. But I also need to buy some accessories like a scale because I actually want to try to like learn to do it the right way or like the best way with my machine and actually pull like a good shot, not a really bitter shot or a really watery shot. So I'm gonna invest a little bit more in that and I'm really excited, but first, I know it's gonna be a whole learning curve, so that's gonna be fun. But today I also have a few things around the house that we wanna do. But with all that said, we gotta head out soon because church is like in an hour. <laughs> Okay, cutie. Who's that? No hubiera pensado que yo me iba a enamorar jamás. No quería saber nada más, nunca más. We just finished up at church and it was really nice. Every time we go, we feel like, dang, this is our church. And honestly, just so like lucky that we found it so quickly because we were going to like do research on like other churches and visit other churches. But ever since we visited this church, we've always just felt so welcome, like more than we've ever felt at any church. It's really special. Like, so we were just like leaving and we were walking you know in the parking lot and like the pastor just ran after us just to say hello and goodbye and it's a pretty big church so the fact that he even notices us is like different and 
in a good way, like very special. And it makes us feel like we're important and part of the church, even though we've only gone like a handful of times. They always all try to like make us feel welcomed and remember our names. And it's really cool. I don't know. It's nothing that I've ever experienced in a big church before. Anyway, just wanted to share that. And now we're at TJ Maxx. We're going to run some errands. So I'm low key on the hunt to find a nice, like big black bag like this where I can carry on the daily. Don't sleep on TJ Maxx. Look at this. How much is it? A hundred bucks, but it's really nice. I like it. Had to come to Powell's bookstore. Gotta show David around it a bit. We're in the mystery thriller section because these are like the books that I'm mostly into right now. David's trying to find a book so he can start reading. <laughs> what is it? Born. Oh, like the Born Supremacy or whatever? Yeah. Intuitive eating. Definitely thought about reading this before, but I don't know. There's something about a book written by people with privilege. The Mountain Is You. It sounds interesting. What is it? This book is about self-sabotage. It's your aesthetic. That's true. A minimalist guide to a better life. This would be like perfect. We're back home, so it's time to change into something a little bit more comfortable. The first project that we're gonna work on right now is David's going to install the blinds. We got blinds that pretty much match these two windows as well. If you've been following along my first home diaries, you know that I'm not someone who just like goes out and buys all the things at once and like puts it on my credit card. I'm really trying to be mindful and like purchase the things that we need. Although I will say this was a little bit of a splurge, but I've been wanting a Breville espresso machine for like a couple of years now. Kind of was a splurge, but also I've waited a long time for it. We finally got the blinds for this window. So now pretty much the majority of our living room is gonna be more private and secluded. Eventually we'll probably get some blinds for this window or like I'm thinking maybe Roman blinds or like the, just a different type of blinds, which I think might be a little bit more expensive. And then eventually I also want to get some floor to ceiling blinds or like curtains to put above the French doors. But again, everything in good time. So then maybe also putting away the Christmas tree. Although I don't know, maybe not. What do you think, babe? Should we put away the Christmas tree today? He said no. <laughs> yeah, I think we both like the Christmas tree because it just gives us like warmth and light and like greenery. And it, yeah, it makes it feel less empty in here. It feels a little bit more cozy since it's still kind of like winter vibes. David and I both agree that we want to get a faux olive tree and put it in that corner. So he said, once we get that, then we can put the tree away. So we're not going to do that today. <laughs> Full disclosure, I just woke up from a nap. I was so tired. I also just ordered a couple of accessories for my new Breville machine. So I'm hoping everything will turn out and it hopefully won't take me too long to at least get like one good shot of coffee. I got my coffee accessories. I only really bought a couple of things, but the first thing was this scale.
WDT tool with a stand. It is time officially to try to assemble the rug on my own. 